Fellow metalheads, another one has left us. We have had Paul Bailoff, Ronnie James Dio. We've had, man, Chuck Schuldner, Diamond Vinny. We've had so many of them. So, so, so many. Peter Steele. And now Jim Durkin of Dark Angel. Jim Durkin. And, you know, it's weird because he's the last original member. And he played on one of my absolute favorite albums, um, Darkness Descends. Obviously, like, Leave Scars and Time Does Not Heal, I like those. But for me, Darkness Descends was the absolute game changer. After, like, being in a world where, like, I was really into, like, Slayer and Creator and, like, Megadeth, like, really fast, like, full-on thrash metal. Obviously, bands are definitely more on the well-known side of thrash metal. And then you had bands that were taking it up a notch, getting heavier. And there was Dark Angel. And I didn't even know about Dark Angel for a while. It wasn't until like 13 years ago, I know about, actually no, 15 years ago, when I had heard about them on the Cannibal Corpse DVD, Centuries of Torment. Because Cannibal Corpse played their very first ever gig opening for them. I remember hearing about the drummer because I was already a Gene Hoagland fan. I was like, Gene? Gene? Dude, no, you can't be. Okay, how have I, like, not seen this? Dude, you did, no, Human for Death, Strapping Young Lad, filled in for bands like Unearth. He did everything. How did I miss Dark Angel? So, of course, I looked into Darkness Descends, and it was just seven songs that was just very fast, very brutal, very in your face. All the, you know, the thrash metal stereotypes, but it took it another notch. You see, like Dark Angel with the demolition hammers and the Sepultura, like the very early Sepulturas of the world, these were the next level of thrash because, like, it was almost like a little bit of like a death metal influence. And this was like almost like you can even say proto death metal, but really extreme thrash metal. Because Don Doty's voice was there, and you had Gene Hogan with the drums, Eric Meyer, like Jim Durkin. It was just such a great album. Like Darkness to Sounds was like, that was the next level for me. Absolute next level. I was addicted to that album. And it was weird because I would listen to it off like YouTube and Spotify for some odd years, so many years. And on and off and then i finally actually finally got a co copy like three years ago like on cd and i was continue to listen to it on and off and i had an opportunity at seeing them and i had messed that up because i was being irresponsible brat at maryland death fest in 2014 so i messed that up and i never got to see jim durkin and it's unfortunate that the man passed by just i just want to say jim like you brought me to the next stage. You brought me to the next level with Dark Angel. Like that that next wave of thrash. And it's crazy thing. Like that's how essential you were to my thrash metal upbringing from the more extreme side of things. Like that was a big thing for me. Like I came for Gene Hoagland, but I stayed for you and Eric Myers' riffage. And obviously Jim Durkin is the last standing original member, even though Meyer and Hoagland and Ron Reinhardt, who replaced you know, Don Doty, have had very essential presence in the band, but Durkin was the last of the OGs, so it sucks. It really sucks. I never got to see him, never got to see Dark Angel. I was playing on C Milwaukee Metal Fest, and normally my videos are a lot more high energy and like in your face and you know, a lot of swearing, but this one I just didn't really get the minimal this time around, but really 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 bummed that this happened and Durkin may you rest in power my friend thank you for all the years of great essential thrash metal I greatly appreciate it and I'm sure Dark Angel will keep going forward but you will be missed my friend thank you very much